queen gets older and older, and, upset by her looks, decides to call the wicked spirits to her aid. In the meantime, Snow White is informed by Malarka of her stepmother's true nature. Jack, for the princess's sake, goes to the castle to steal the magic mirror. But, captured, learns from the queen frightening truths about his own true identity. It's just me. Uh, I wonder what could have happened to Jack. Where is he? <laughs> totally irresponsible. Who? I was speaking about Jack. Richard asked him to protect you during his absence. And what did he do? Nothing. Richard doesn't know Jack like I do. I know you can't trust Jack for nothing. Anyway, no need to worry. We'll look after you. Huh? Snow White, were you listening to me? Uh, of course. I was just hoping you liked the cake I made. <laughs> if that's the way you feel, I'll never speak to you again. Does that mean you don't like my cake? I was only joking. He shouldn't criticize Jack. But I love it! What am I saying? How are you today, my little absent-minded imp? All you have are your words. You have no real proof that I'm an imp and not a human being. You really are very stubborn, aren't you? All you have to do is take note of your pointed ears. You're an evil woman. Why should I pay attention to anything you say? All I've heard you do is talk. I haven't seen proof of anything. So I think I'm human. <laughs> you poor, silly little fool. I'd rather be called foolish than evil like you. You don't have a life of your own, so you have to live off the joy of others to satisfy your emptiness. But I'm not gonna play your silly little game. Impudent brat, come with me. Well, what do you have to say? Surely now you cannot deny your identity. <laughs> Now that you're one of us, you have no choice but to follow my orders. <laughs> Leave me alone! Huh? Actually, I must confess, I find you more attractive now that you have pointed ears. But I will only be tolerant with you this one time. You must accept your fate, my boy. <laughs> I call to you, spirit of the mirror. I tried to warn you. Thanks to you, I've learned the truth about myself. I have a very uneasy feeling about Jack because he's not back yet and he should have been. Oh, I don't think so. Not that surprising for someone as irresponsible as Jack. Hmm. 
Jack is not as bad as you make him out to be, Jolly. Okay, it is true that he is sometimes a bit arrogant and stubborn, but... And he must keep the promise that he made to Richard. I agree, Snow White. It's really not like him to be gone this long. He could be in trouble. Well, I have to admit it is strange. He hasn't come back for a really long time. Well, I'm glad you agree with me. As soon as we've finished our meal, I'll go and look for him. <sighs> Thank you very much, boss. forest has a strange power. Those with wicked souls cannot enter it. The dwarfs, in order to protect Snow White, have strengthened this strange but effective security system. Maybe Jack has left the woods. But where else in the world could he go? Snow White. Jack, Jack, it's you. Where have you been all this time? We've we've been so worried. Have you really? I'm sorry about that. You seem a little strange. Never mind that. Here, I brought you some flowers. Oh, what beautiful flowers, Jack, for me? Well, of course they're for you. Who else? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about nothing but you. Jack, you seem a little different to me. I just care about you, that's all. And I was wondering if you cared about me. If the feeling was mutual, or if I was alone in this thought. Uh, uh, I don't care how you feel about Richard, even if you're in love with him. I am a straightforward person, and when I like someone, I don't hide it. But Jack, I... Get it through your head, Snow White. Richard's never coming back. Why are you saying these things to me? Being with me is better than being with someone you could never have anyway. Jack, it's not like you to be this way. <gasps> Richard won't be returning, you know. Ever again. No, I don't believe you. And just so you know, I've gone over to the Queen's side. Jack, you're lying to me. What I did to those flowers, I can do to you. Oh, Jack, take back everything you said and please be your old self. <laughs> you should grow up and stop being so naive, Snow White. You only see things in the way that you want them to be. Actually, you get on my nerves. I don't know why I ever bother with you in the first place. I don't need you for anything. Jack! Huh? Jack, what seems to be the problem? Oh, my friends have come.
I knew I didn't like that guy. There's something funny about him. What's the matter with the sheep? They're uneasy because they sense the presence of something you strange. Please, huh? None of that really matters right now. We must decide what to do about Jack. He'd better stay here until we have made up our minds. Sure, I don't care. Do whatever you want. All right, get in there. Let's go. Okay. okay. My, what a mess. I would never have thought Jack was capable of betraying us. Never. That's the thing, Woody. It's too terrible to even contemplate. If Snow White had taken those red flowers, I don't even want to think about it. Wait a minute. No? Mm -hmm. We're all listening. What have you got to say? That little sheep loved Jack. That means there's nothing wrong with him. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? He can't be wicked because my sheep never approach wicked people. Very true. You've got a point. And it's strange he let himself get captured so easily. He would have had no problem getting away from us. Has anyone considered that the Queen might have brainwashed him? All that matters here is that Snow White has put herself at great risk. Yes, yes, that is true. If this is all part of the Queen's wicked plot, then Jack could be an innocent victim. I guess so. I'm afraid it's going to be awfully hard to come to a solution. Er... The dwarves continued their discussions well into the night. Snow White, it's possible. I may never see you again in my life. But I'll always have your memory. <laughs> you fool! How could you think you're in love with Snow White? The relationship could never work between a maiden and a wicked imp like you. Good morning, Jack. Are you hungry? I brought you gourmet soup, the one you like so much. I can't believe we let her go alone. I'm so worried about her and I can't shake that feeling. Be patient. We must respect Snow White's wishes. But, boss, how do we know we can trust this guy, Jack, at all? We don't have to trust him. We can take care of him if he gets out of line. He can't be wicked. My sheep liked him too much. If you don't eat your soup now, it'll go cold. Huh? Uh? Snow White, I have a terrible secret I want to share with you. Uh? I'm actually an evil, terrible imp. Stop joking. I'm not joking. It's the truth. Why are you saying it? I don't understand why you always feel you have to put yourself down. It's true you come off a bit arrogant and stubborn sometimes, but I know in my heart you're not wicked. Even the animals know you're a good person. <laughs> so I guess that means I'm a bad person with a good heart. Is that right? <laughs> Stop fooling around and tell me the truth right now. What have you been trying to hide from me, Jack? You'll never change. You're still so naive, Snow White. Now I'm going to show you something that will prove everything I've said. No, I can't. I can't! Go away! I never want to see you again! Oh. 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 Let's go! Mm -hmm. I told you to get lost, Snow White. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. But why, Jack? Huh? Stop! What did you 
do to our Snow White? You know what, little buddy? You're really a nuisance. You want trouble? Calm down, everyone. Let's not have a fight here. We only want to protect you, Snow White. Huh? Hurry! Follow him! Vet, take care of Snow White! Okay, I will! <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think we've lost him. <sighs> it's so peaceful. Hmm. Well, what do we have here? It's one of those magical ribbons that protects the forest from evil. Seven colored ribbons have been tied throughout the woods. If they are removed or cut, the spell that protects the dwarves would be broken as well. Yeah! Cut them off one by one. Oh! The spell won't last very long, boss. No, it won't. Huh? Oh! 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 It appears to have been cut with a steel blade. Mm. That means he was armed. How could he be so careless? It appears we've gotten here too late. He's already cut off the last ribbon. We worked so hard to fix those ribbons. Should we start all over again, boss? I'm sorry to say that we are unable to recast the spell until the next full moon. Huh? What? Well, but if that's the case, then... Without the aid of the colored fog, we are helpless and vulnerable. We must worry about Snow White. It's not that bad. Huh? No? There's a bright side to every situation. I'll explain. We are now capable of observing the enemy's every move. Am I wrong? Oh, that's really great, Chamomile. <clears throat> well, there's no need to be sarcastic. I was just trying to be helpful. Mm. Snow White, I brought you something. Thank Here. you so much, my friend Vet. I have a question to ask you. Huh? Do you really believe that Jack has betrayed all of us? Mm. I can't say for sure. I know it may seem peculiar, but I just can't forget the tenderness he showed all our animals. Milarka, Milarka, can you hear me? Spec, Spec, is that you? Yes, Milarka. Spec, please tell me, how is it that I can hear your voice? The forest spell is gone. I can speak to you now. Oh, that's wonderful news, Spec! Yes, I am free to speak to you whenever I wish. Just as Chamomile pointed out, every situation can have its positive angles. But now, Snow White is totally unprotected and at the mercy of the evil Queen Crystal.